This year's Jim Bob. This year's Clint. Oh man, and we're the Whiskey Dragons. That's right. Now, you might notice something looks a little different. Something? What could it be? Did you get a new haircut? No, it's not that. Well, I don't know. Did you get a new haircut? Maybe it's because I'm wearing glasses. No, you're not wearing glasses, oh. Jim Bob. Well, I, I don't know. It must be that we're at our new home. Oh yeah, this new set right That's here. That's right. We moved Ooh. ourselves from Alaska down to Pennsylvania. Yep. Now we told you before we were thinking about it. If you follow, you know, if you watch the, uh, what the hell was that in the Bigfoot the big movie? Foot, yeah, we said, man, these hunting woods are real nice. Yeah, they're here. just prime. So what we did is we decided it was kind of stupid to be, uh, you know, traveling from Alaska the whole way to Pennsylvania all the time. So yeah. Well, we should tell them what happened. Well, okay, there is a little bit more to the story. Yep. Now. Jim Bob is an avid hunter. I love it. He loves to hunt. I love to hunt so much that I like to hunt whenever it's not hunting season. Yeah. Now, he might not be the best hunter. But I break all them rules. But he likes opportunity. That's right. So Jim Bob went and got himself in a whole heap of trouble with the damn law. Yeah. So they pretty much said Jim Bob's not allowed to hunt in Alaska anymore. Well, they don't like that I'm hunting at nighttime, hunting from a car, hunting with a, you know, weird contraptions I made. Yeah, all the things you're not supposed to be doing. I mean, yeah. it's common sense. Really. So they kind of kicked me out of hunting up in Alaska. So uh, instead of driving back here over and over again, we just decided, hey, let's find a nice little hunter's cabin. Let's move back. I mean, we've end. been talking about it for a while, yeah. so it only made sense, really. And this is our hometown, so it's nice to be back. Yeah, and, well, one of our hometowns, anyway. Well, yeah. And Mike, you know, living in Ohio, it's not too far. It's only got a couple hour commute. Yep. And, uh, Truth be told, we're thinking about getting rid of Mike. We, I mean, might. we might keep him around to work on stuff here and there. It's true. Because, I mean, he's done a hell of a job with our cabin. Now, here. see, he did a hell of a job with the set in the cabin, but when we lived in Alaska, he built way more than he was supposed to build, spent all of our building money, yeah. and he just had a frame that was the size of a mansion. We're like, Mike, what are you doing? And he didn't bother looking into any of the little legal things, too. He was yeah. ended up building stuff on a neighbor's property. Man. Neighbors were usually a nice person, but they weren't too happy they about it. They were real mad about that. So, whew, we just packed up and said, hell with it. Yep. Sold the house for what we can get out of it. And the fuck you, this. Alaska. Sorry. I still well, like Alaska. I'm not allowed to hunt there. Uh, we even put up a picture of our last, uh, oh yeah, our goodbyes to Alaska. On the ride out, we stopped at the uh, old Alaska Highway there. That's right. Took ourselves a picture, nodding our hats to it. Yep. You know, we got the Duke up there. That's right. Good old John Wayne. I mean, you can't be anywhere without it. And of course, we got our fine assortment of whiskeys. And Louie's up here. And we got Louie. Man. And, well, special edition. Oh yeah. Special drink. Oh yeah, this is the banana beer bread. You can see the, the review. Uh, the Bigfoot thing in there. Suzanne, he sent us. Oh, yeah, thank you, Suzanne. I don't remember how to open this thing. I think it's like that. I think he's like walking across it. Yeah. It didn't work. Not really. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. Maybe for you, not for me. Well, maybe uh, maybe his hands. Maybe he's. I did this before. I remember. I just don't remember how it worked. Wouldn't you think it was his mouth that would open it? We'll figure this out one of these days. Here, let me see. Yep. Oh, right here it is, his hand. Let me open this up for you there, Jim Bob. Uh, that ain't it. What about this way? Well, that's some cutting tool. Well, how about that right there? You can sit there and play around with that all day and figure it out if you want. Oh, I don't go. think that's the way it's supposed to work, but thank you, big foot guy. Hand. Anyway, now I've got some Wells banana bread beer here. This goes out to you guys. Whoa. Oh man, that's some good stuff. It's right like there. taking a drink and eating a piece of banana bread all at the same time. Pretty much. All right, so what's going on with us yet? Well, we got something fancy in the mail today. Oh man, it's pretty fancy. Yep. Yep. Boom, here it is. The Outsider Season 1 and Season 2 box set. Damn. Now, note on the cover here, it says, Limited edition. Oh man. So there ain't gonna be too many of these out there. So make sure you get yourself this. We got one. Do you guys have it? Probably not. Probably not. Go out and get it. So I highly recommend you get it. Why? Because there's a hell of a lot of special features. Deleted scenes. Wow, there's featurettes. A, yeah, there's a Meet the Ferals featurette. Wow. There's a deleted <clears throat> scenes for both seasons. That's right. Second season, 29 deleted scenes. Wow, so you know they're not just saying that and there's two deleted scenes. Yeah. There's 29 on season two. And hell, you might even see my smiling face on there. That's true, more chance of seeing Clint. But we highly recommend you go out there and order yourself that right now because it is a special edition and they might stop making them. That's true, and we wanted to do, uh, we wanted to do the season one, uh, you know, talking outside, so we had to get the DVD. We're not going to steal it like damn criminals. Yeah, and keep in mind, 
Oh man, that's gonna give me the burps. Oh yeah. There's lots of material in there. We're gonna go and we're gonna cover it all. Every every single thing. every damn bit. Because I and Jim Bob do not believe that this is over yet. Nope. There's more fighting us. Yep. Something just has to happen. It was just too much. <clears throat> Woo, they can't just let that shit go. I know. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna keep you guys updated for whenever season three comes out because we just you know it's like a dead one that dies and you just can't. You can't let go. You can't let go. We're not gonna let go. I refuse to believe that it's over. So, with that being said, get out there, buy this damn box set. Yep. Buy season one, season two. Don't even open the box. Just leave it alone. Well, you might want to buy, might be a collector's issue. buy a second copy that you can open up and you can watch along That's with us idea. as we do That's season one right talking there. outside. Holy shit. What else do we have That's here? That's a good idea. Oh, a yeah, drunk. We're, we're going to pick a drunk at the movies. Uh, we have the people oh, yeah. on Facebook uh, doing a poll. Yeah, we've got a lot of good ideas Real so cool. far. What we're going to do is after we get, it was one week from the day I put it up. Don't know when it was. But after we get all the suggestions, we're going to put it up in a poll. Yep. Then that way you can go and vote on which one of those you want us to review. That's true. Oh, it's going to be pretty cool. That's right. We'll sit here and we'll get drunk and we'll do a Drunk at the Movies review for you. Yep. It'll be like talking outside, but uh, different. Drunker. But and, the same. Well, I don't know. That one talking outside with the the, the feral show. Oh, we got tradition. real drunk. Woo. Oh. I, was a little, I was a little toasty toasty on that one. You guys watched the Feral Shine edition one, that one's funny. <laughs> you'll, you'll see Clinton rare form right there. Yep. Alright, what else we got? We got, well, uh, we got a couple uh, of alcohols that we're yeah, going to we use. got some uh, Jim Beam Red Stag. And uh, what else we got, Jim Ball? We got us uh, Bailey's, uh, the original Irish Cream. That's right. We're going to take a little little tasty taste and see what those are like. Now, if you haven't noticed, me and Clint are Irish. So that's why we would uh, do something like <laughs> that. Yeah, a little bit, eh? Yeah, a little bit. I don't have an Irish accent, but um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, this might not be a hardcore punch in the face whiskey, but it's a good thing to mix with things, That's do Irish right. card bombs, so on and so forth. And it's great in your coffee in the morning when you're getting ready for work. That's right. Now That's this right. here, this Red Stag, my brother has had some of that. Oh yeah. And I, pretty sure, I remember drinking it. Yep. Your brother has bad taste though. He does have bad taste. He buys that weird shit. He does. But anyways, I remember it being good, but I don't remember how it tasted. I just oh, remember it was good. I'm just fucking with you. You know, you have great taste. He's going to kick my ass for saying that. I farted. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I remember it being good, but we'll see. Oh, man. It's a blackberry. Uh, Black cherry, I think. Oh, that sounds good Black to me. Black cherry. So we'll see what the hell that entails. You guys want to watch, you know, because we would be cool and just review them here on this show, but nah, we got to make videos out of it. That's right. Full force, 100%. Be sure to get over to the Whiskey Drinkers 2 channel. Oh, yeah. Jim Bob's got a lot of stuff going on oh, there. Man. I don't want to, I don't want to, how yeah, some people would say bust the nut. Bust the nut, that's what I was going to say. Don't want to do that yet, but get over there and check out some of his videos. He's got a lot of crazy stuff going on. Oh, all our music's over there. Yep, you not all of it yet, but it's going to be over Most there. Most of our music's over I'm there. Lazy. You can hear that. Uh, what else? Um, we got other things. Uh, we got the set here. It's pretty cool. We got Louie. Cool. Louie's hanging out Louis up there. there. We have green screen capabilities. Which we're gonna put into play later on. Yeah. So you might see us standing at the Great um, Egyptian Pyramid of Giza. That's right. Pizza or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, that Leaning Tower of Pizza. Yeah, that's plus you know, Egyptian pizza, uh, Italy, whatever. Same thing. They're in the same All area. Right. Well, uh, well, damn. Well, let's well, not sit here and teach these guys geography. Let's. Uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, Nothing. Well. We're done. Yeah, it's just a good drink. All right. Well, we'll you guys watch for these reviews. Yeah, they're just coming. All right. See you later.